Hi guys, I recorded this video for Digital Futures Workshop. Um, I have additional um, sort of tutorial for you guys. The first of all, we need to go to the data here, and then you can see the video number seven, right? Just double click to enter this folder, and click this scene, scene video. Yeah, uh, nothing changed. Yeah, just click the play. Yeah, okay, basically what it does is uh, it parse the camera and then get the information out of this my webcam. And then on the basis of the data, we can basically populate the bunch of uh, CPR. So individual CPR stands for the pixel of the um, live stream by live cam, okay? So let me stop this video. Okay, so double click the uh, webcam example. Okay, here we go. Um, this is straightforward. So um, we need to take a look at the start scope first, right? Because it starts um, when, you, when you click the play button. And this is ha happening only one time for life cycle, okay? So basically, I create a plane here and then rotated the plane, right? Because we wanted to project the camera as a texture of that plane, okay? So this is the thing. And also, this is the key things. So webcam texture is sort of the inbuilt um, cloth provided by Unity. And then we can follow this direction. Like uh, we can also create this kind of, uh, basically create the plane, right? And then the individual game object, as I mentioned before, it has this necessary component. One of the components is a renderer here. So we want to get the renderer. And then we try to bind this webcam to the um, um, rendered, uh, renders material and main texture. And then there's a uh, one function to sort of the execute the play here. So this is what I think is all about to combining the webcam with the plane. And this uh, operation is more about like the populating this sphere based on the data from um, webcam, right? So let me actually screen capture. Okay, here we go. So um, yeah, my face was skizzed. Anyhow, so this is the image, right? So if you go to the image uh, tab and you can see the image size here, this represents the number of pixel along the x-axis, the y-axis, which is height, right? So um, if you visit the individual pixel, we need to apply sort of a double for loop which time complexity cannot be this number multiplied this number, which is a lot. So what I did is um, here, here we actually apply the resolution, right? The resolution is in 20, right? So it's meaning that if you zoom all the way in, so this is an individual pixel, right? So we want to pass this information and then every 19 up, uh, I don't know, maybe we, we can we can call it this 19 number. So we basically skip this this many uh, pixels and then we can call um, the pixel value out of this image. Yeah, just like that. So basically it's interval, okay? So so that we are able to maintain the performance, right? So also the image is in a big, you know, that we can actually pass the information in a low, low density, okay? So yeah, I think this is enough. So um, this double photo is basically visit individual pixel, as I, as I mentioned. And during this scope, we create the, a sphere, which is going to represent a pixel value. And then this is the webcam, right? Get pixel is sort of special function to um, get the color value out of this X and Y, right? And then uh, we have a color value here, here. And then we can um, get the material, I mean, the renderer of this sphere that we just created. And based on this renderer, we can access the material and color and then apply the pixel color uh, toward um, the color of the sphere. That's it. And then we want to sort of uh, store this um, sphere because it's happening only one time, right? And then uh, while, while looping, we wanted to update the color value and height, as you can see here, right? So um, every time we create 
dispute and then apply the y-axis information and color information is computationally expensive. This is because, you know, think about it, just every time we need to create it and then we need to distort the game object, which is inefficient, right? So for the starting um, moment, um, we create the just sphere on one time, but and then update loop, we just simply updating the z x uh, y axis in the Unity and color value of the spheres. Um, this is the how we create it, right? And then update function, same as the creation, so we have uh, identical for loop, right? So that we are able to call um, access the uh, sphere in order in the list, right? So uh, every operation, I think, is identical, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, the additional thing is that uh, if the gray color is bigger than 0 0.5, then we wanted to, um, I mean, the less than, less than 0 0.5, we wanted to scale down or, okay, where's pixel scale, by, by the way? Oh, basically apply, we want to ap apply this number for the scale, basically scale down, like a uh, scale up, yeah, I guess, <laughs> because this is original scale, right, 0 0.1, right? And then if this co color is the um, less than 0 0.5, we want to increase the sphere scale, right? And also we have a position here, right? Um, based on the grayscale value, we want to um, make some offset value along the y-axis. Yeah, this is the x and y. So in Unity, as I mentioned before, the y is the um, sort of z-axis in the uh, Unity environment here. Yeah. Um, yeah, these are pretty much about it. And I leave an uh, individual comment. So if you guys uh, have any question, please uh, leave the message or you guys can um, ask me directly in the Discord channel. Great, thank you.